What the heck? Come on, man. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Weekly Whip, where I take you behind the scenes in the fold, let you in on some action from Ninjago from the past decade. Uh, We may or may not have a president in our country by the time this airs. Today is voting day. I did my part. And if you're just joining us here on The Fold Music, I want you guys to uh, hit that like button right below this video. I want you to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any notifications. I don't have a good segue. Just moving on. As always, Ninjago Land is a great escape for me during all this craziness in our country. I want to thank the community for that. Uh, there was a very exciting thing that came out this week, a trailer for a documentary. If you know me, I'm obsessed with all documentaries, so this fits right in. Uh, it's a trailer that I'm actually going to be in the documentary. This is a first. I'm in a documentary. Some of the biggest super fans from Ninjago that I know are actually spearheading this. They're going to be putting together a full documentary. They're interviewing all the greats from the show. And uh, George and I are involved, the Hageman brothers. I I can't really give out the list, but um, as I said, I was interviewed this past week. It went awesome. I, uh, I sat in one of those super clean white rooms and I felt very official. And uh, I'm going to show you a little clip, so check it out. Go peddle your insults somewhere else. Ah, too bad. Thought I'd find something special here. Bigger? That thing in one big bite just crushed our entire ship! Ninjago. Rebooted. The concept itself was strong from the beginning. Ninja never quit, so why should we? You can't write the same song for 10 years. (laughs) Yes, yes, the whole thing just made me feel very, uh, what's the word? It's a very big word. Proud. Proud. Uh, You know, as we get deeper into this Ninjago rabbit hole, um, it just makes the band feel more purposeful than ever before. Um, In the documentary, I actually got to talking about this a little bit, and I wanted to touch on it here because I can kind of expound a little bit. It made me realize that, um, you know, the fold when we were coming out and we were with Tooth and Nail, uh, we always felt very much like we didn't have our place. And even though it might sound silly to the fans that we've had since back then, uh, something about the Ninjago story really helped me understand our place in the world and that, you know what, you don't have to be the coolest band or number one on the charts. You just need to have a really clear message and um, somehow the message of Ninjago aligning with the message of the fold and my faith and all these things playing together have really made more sense than ever uh, over these past 10 years. So I just want to thank the community for that. A fan named Alex has been really into the idea of me digging back and finding demos from those early days, uh, 2005 to 2010 or so, uh, when The Fold was kind of just making albums with tooth and nail. And I found all those over the weekend. And let me tell you, it created this huge love fest between me and all the old members from the band uh, pre-2010 when George and Matt joined. It was just a beautiful thing. I think we're gonna schedule a hangout after quarantine is over and just kind of listen back to these demos. And um, so I just wanna thank you guys for caring. Uh, When you guys show interest in these kind of things, it really awakens something in me. 
I can look back on old demos that I created and lyrics that I scrawled out on a piece of paper and just feel very insecure and uncertain about the future of my band as I look at that again. And so seeing that in light of what we've grown to be and what you guys have seen us to be over these past 10 years uh, really just makes me see uh, the past in a good way where uh, it's very much like the theme of moving past. I see these pictures of my past in the light of where I'm at every memory completely changes. Those are loosely the lyrics from a song I wrote called Different Kind of Disease. And, uh, but it's very true, seeing how excited you guys are about the Ninjago music and the Fold music just gives us such a purpose and such a desire to keep going. So just a quick thank you for that. I know I say thank you a lot, but honestly, this Weekly Whip is about me being able to thank you guys directly. Having this avenue to show you that what you say to us really makes a difference. So speaking of new music, it is happening. Uh, we're gonna be having a very special announcement on Monday, which is in just... Two days from now. Uh, and it's gonna get you guys excited. Um, that's all I can say right now, it's coming. Watch our socials on Monday morning for a very special announcement. It's regarding new music. But this week was very, very busy uh, beyond this announcement coming Monday. We've been working on new music. So as we do, we're gonna bring you in the studio with us. We're not gonna play the actual hooks in this clip, but uh, here's some footage from me uh, and George banging out some new stuff. We doing this? I've never seen that before. It's always something. Squeeze this down a little bit. Squeeze that down a little bit. Kanye is the president? Any ideas for a bridge? is in his new place awesome. So he got married and got a new place all in the past couple weeks. And uh, that's the first time we got to track anything there. So it was very exciting to be in the new place and just feel that fresh feeling. Good job, George, proud of you. We are quickly approaching 150,000 subscribers on this channel. Just wanna say thanks to every one of you. If you're thinking about unsubscribing, I'll do better. No, just kidding. But when we get to 150,000 subscribers, we need to come up with something really exciting to do, okay? Uh, I want you to drop some comments below. We're gonna favorite and pin our favorite ideas. Uh, embarrass us, you know? We can eat some squid, we can jump in a freezing lake, we can do whatever we need to do to get to that number. Tell your friends about the full music. You hear me? Mm. So a thing I wanted to cover this week, a fan noticed this funny version of the pirate whip in this video. Hey guys, friends and enemies, it's Dan from The Full. So that didn't seem very weird to me as um, I guess the person who helped create the song, but to him that sounded very different. And um, so what that was, was that was the demo version. And I'll, I'll play it for you now. Here's a little clip from the original Pirate Whip. So as these things go, um, 
That was kind of me in Pro Tools, which is the program we use to create these songs. Uh, that was me kind of using uh, something called a MIDI instrument. So it's, I'm basically drawing little bars uh, on a timeline because I didn't want to spend a ton of time recording actual instruments if the song wasn't going to be approved. So what you were hearing there was actually the demo. Um, we didn't change a ton. Uh, the vocals usually kind of stay where they're at as far as from the demo to the final product. Uh, but what does change is the instrumentation, which is what that fan was picking up on. So very good, uh, good ears there. And uh, you basically caught us using the wrong version, which is something I'll do all the time here on the Weekly Web. It's why you keep coming back, isn't it? Well, hey guys, we're gonna keep this one short and sweet this week. We're gonna spin out with another fan video. I'm actually going to pick this one after I film this. I don't even know what it is yet, but here you go. It was exactly 1950 here in Croatia. I was playing among us with some friends in Discord voice chat. Of the folks community server and we were having fun. Till we got notified that the fold was going live. Where is the stream then? What type of prank did you pull on us? On the day of the death, not April the 1st, you decided to click pay the soul. Where is the stream then? We all have been waiting for too long. 21.30 in Europe it is, it's been more than one hour. Almost two hours now. And that's my time for this week, guys. Thanks so much for spending your Saturday morning, afternoon, evening. We're all over the world. I don't know what time it is. But uh, thanks for being here. We'll see you next week. Same channel, same time, slightly different width.